Hi Capricorn, it is me, Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. I hope you guys are doing well. Let us see what God, Angels, and Universe has for you. Capricorn. Hmm, Knight of Swords. Telling it like it is. Ten of Wands, Burdens, Curiosity. Taking a mental time out, wrapping things up, closing out a cycle. I feel, <laughs> this is so crazy because I heard or feel like you're dealing with somebody who's hard-headed or won't take no for an answer. Right? That Ten of Wands is burdens, right? Just the sh struggling, just being weighed down and not being, you know, not having freedom and, you know, not being able to move freely. And you have the Knight of Swords with the Page of Swords. So I feel like you are either having difficulty communicating your burdens to someone or you are communicating your burdens to someone, but they're just not hearing you. They're kind of, quote unquote, mentally checked out. Yeah, you're trying to figure out how to resolve whatever this is and move on. Or somebody could be com communicating to you how you are impeding their pro progress or flow. And I feel like you guys may be trying to figure out how to resolve this and move on. Wow, Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups, the Moon card, the Magician, King of Cups, Hey, Scorpio, Knight of Pentacles. This double Virgo. Okay, here's Capricorn. Is Taurus on the table? Uh, I don't see Taurus yet. Okay. So. Yeah, I feel like somebody's not getting the message here. I also feel like you're trying to communicate to someone that you need help. Or you would like their assistance in taking some of this workload. But I just kind of feel like it's falling on deaf ears. You got the Knight of Cups with the King of Cups. I have three Knights on the table. You may be dealing with a Virgo, which is double Virgo here. Because Virgo had the same three Knights. Yeah, you are... Oh, you're the one who's into, you're, you don't know you. It's almost like you don't know how to next approach this situation. Cause it kind of feels like the first route or the regular route that you've taken didn't work, right? The Knight of Swords is going for it. It's just, you know, telling them how you feel. I'm um, telling them what's on your mind. Just saying it, getting, getting it off your chest. And you would think that, okay, well, if I, if I tell, tell it to you that, you, you know, you would receive some sort of feedback or move, you know, movement or momentum or, you know, okay, Capricorn, I get it. You're, you're burdened and, you know, I'll come in to help you tomorrow. Right. I assume that you assume that's what, that's the kind of response you should have gotten, but I don't think that's what you got. I kind of feel like somebody is purposely leaving the weight on your shoulders, right? It's almost like somebody, you saying, oh, hey, you know, could you come in tomorrow and help me do inventory? You know, I'm going to be swamped and I don't think I'm going to be able to get it all done. And the person you asked for that help, they're like, oh, well, dang, tomorrow, you know, I got to go to the dentist and, you know, I'm having my teeth cleaned, right? So... It's almost like they're bullshitting you. <laughs> Realistic. I'm sorry. I wish I could say that differently. But I feel like somebody is making an excuse to avoid helping you. Oh. You know, Capricorn, you've had these weird readings where you don't feel hurt. You don't feel like... It's almost like you're trying to do things 
in a, you know, in a feasible way, like, you know, normal, realistic way. Like, you know, if I have a problem, let me talk about my problem. And hopefully the person I'm talking to is, you know, going to offer me some advice or information or feedback or something. And it's almost like the people you're talking to are in the twilight zone or something because you're not getting the feedback, help, assistance, or support that you're asking for. I don't know who's reading this. I don't know. Um, the page of swords is curiosity. Somebody is stalking you or looking up. Um, oh, that's what it is. Oh, okay. I get it now. I get it. I get it. What I just got was that Um, somebody, feel, somebody needs to be needed, right? And the person who needs to be needed is a possible love interest, right? So it's almost like if you keep asking me for help and I really like you, I'm going to keep putting you off so you can keep asking me because in my stupid fucking brain, you keep asking me and my brain says you like me too, or you rely on me. Oh... <laughs> I don't know. This is, it's, it's kind of like a reverse gaslighting or gaslighting in some respect, because I feel like I, I, I promise you with the Knight of swords, I feel like you're being crystal clear in your communication. I feel like there is dialogue. There are conversations going back and forth and somebody's assuming that as a result of these conversations that you would, that things would get set in motion right? But you got the 10 of wands and the seven of swords. Therein lies the deceit that these burdens will be lifted. Somebody is deceiving you into thinking that they're actually here to help you. And they're not, I can tell you they're not, they're not. <clears throat> Instead, this person secretly likes you or is in love with you. Oh God. <laughs> this is such a weird reading. Um, four swords and a moon card. Yeah, I feel like you're going to stop. I feel like you're going to check out. Because here's the thing. You're still carrying them ten wands. And ten wands ain't go nowhere. So you're like, listen, you are all day, every day useless to me. So I feel like for some of you, you're going to back off. Mm, mm. And you're going to, you're going to. Whomever this person is, they're pushing you towards somebody else. Yeah, you got double Virgo here. Virgo is an overthinker. Not only that, but the Knight of Pentacles, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is slow, right? The Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Cups, they're fast, right? They charge in and may not even know where they're going, right? It's that impulse and action and emotion and, you know, intelligence the knight of, not the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles is like mm -mm, mm -mm. i don't know if the coast is clear i'm gonna take my time until i know the coast is clear somebody is overthinking on an approach to you but i feel like in all honesty capricorn you've already dq'd this person disqualified them yeah somebody is secretly liking you like you have a secret admirer or they're looking at your profile, looking you up online, you know, rereading messages. There is some sort of secret here or secrecy here. And I feel like you're trying to figure out how to, they're trying to figure out how to come across and open up their feelings to you. But me personally, I think that they've already disqualified themselves, right? I do. I do. I really do. And the reason why I'm saying that is because of the four of swords. You're already checked out, right? You're already checked out. <laughs> um, I do kind of feel like there is some sort of new love coming in. Yeah, this is a push and pull. I feel like whomever this past person is, who's kind of playing games, I feel like there's a strong history here. You might have known this person 10, 11 years, right? Which is hard for you to get rid of them. Hard for you to, you to just kind of, quote unquote, cut them off. Um, and I feel like that's what all the overthinking is about. 
How do I dismember, dismantle, disconnect from this old energy? And I feel like a, a manifestation, you've asked for something new, somebody new, some new fresh love, new fresh, you know, experiences, new fresh energy that's coming in. But then I feel like you're going to embody that Virgo energy, whereas you're going to be like, okay, so what am I going to do with this old person? It's almost like they've deemed themselves useless to you. But for some reason, you have not, quote unquote, discarded them. You haven't. You keep them around. But I do feel like you have a new love lover coming in who may assist you in getting rid of or shutting down this older, older person. Okay. I didn't mean for all of that. Oh, Lord, the King of Wands, the hanged man. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. It's almost like you're letting this person get away with this crazy behavior. You're allowing them to believe that you need them. Queen of Cups. Okay, so I have a couple on the table. I have all water signs, do I? Where's Cancer? This is Cancer, Scorpio. And there's Pisces. I have all water signs. I don't know. I feel like there is a matter of utmost importance that you are really focusing on right now, but whomever you're needing for help and assistance and support, they playing googly eyes. Oh, you got nice teeth, right? Like, uh, I'm going, star card. Oh, this person's immature. They're afraid of being rejected by you. That's why they've not revealed their feelings to you. I get it, I get it. This is so damn stupid. I'm sorry. I don't know who's reading this is. Three of Pentacles need, needing to collaborate and work together. Another night. Knight of Cups again here twice. And with the Knight of Pentacles and the Virgo card. With the overthinker going within. That self-evaluation. That soul searching. Are you going to stay with the tried and true and comfortable and familiar? Or are you going to take a leap of faith and, and head towards this new love? It's up to you. Yeah. Uh, what is that? When somebody is insecure, all attention is positive attention. Even negative attention is positive attention. This older person, they frustrate you, but you've known them so long, you kind of keep them around. Um, angels are saying to me too, for some of you guys, you don't even really get along with this person. They frustrate the crap out of you. Whose reading is this? They frustrate the crap out of you. But you have a new love coming in. I have two kings. How many knights? One, uh, one, two, three, four knights on it. Yeah. This person is afraid of rejection. It's like they're beating around the bush. I feel like they really want to be with you, Capricorn. And they're using other avenues and other excuses to stay in your life. Instead of just saying to you, hey, you want to go out on a date sometime? I really like you. You know, I don't want to be your friend anymore. Or I know we work together, but I was wondering if I could take you to dinner or something. Right? It's almost like they're too afraid of being rejected. They, they want to cross over into something more romantic and loving, but they're too afraid to. I also feel like you could feel this. Angels just said, you already know who this person is. Here's the thing. If you are a cross watcher to Capricorn and you like Capricorn and y'all work together, by the way, and Capricorn relies on you. Bringing Capricorn closer to you is not to mess up at work, right? So in other words, if you want to bring Capricorn closer to you, do your job, right? Be an asset to Capricorn, not a liability. Ooh, child, I don't know, I don't know, Cletus. 
I don't know which one this is. I have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody wants to move forward in love with you. Angels are saying, yeah, it could be reverse. It could be you wanting to move forward with love in love with someone else. This is somebody who it's almost like you're somebody's dream come true. You're somebody's dream come true. You're somebody's happily ever after is what I heard. <clears throat> this is going to sound crazy. I mean, I know the high priestess is here, but I feel like you or your person has had psychic readings about the other one. You might have had readings on them or they had readings on you or somebody is watching tower readings for a love interest. How, Alex, can I approach this person? How can I get what I want? How do I make this dream come true? First and foremost, stop with the bullshit and stop being an obstacle and be an ally. Be a partner to Capricorn, not an adversary. I also feel like somebody is waiting for some sort of hint or um, sign that maybe you like them, Capricorn, or maybe you're waiting for a sign that your person likes you. I don't think that's the best approach in all honesty. Not with the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Cups. No, don't, don't play emotional games. Don't play mind games. How about we just don't play games at all? This <laughs> Rachel, Rachel telling Ross she's still in love with him after he's married Emily. I was used to be a friends aholic. Yeah, somebody has some residual feelings. Um, three of Pentacles. This, yeah, it could be a positive third party, right? A positive third party, whereas nobody's cheating, but it could be co parenting or it could be, you know, my ex husband is married and, you know, we, we have a blended family and I like his new wife and, but the old spouse still has feelings for the ex-husband or ex-wife or whomever. Ooh, boy, this is, somebody just got a personal reading because this is too damn specific. Okay, uh, did I read out the signs? I have Pisces here, Cancer here, Aquarius here, Cancer here, Leo here. And Pisces here. You got a lot of water in this reading, Capricorn. So I feel like there are some pretty strong and flowing uh, emotions here in this situation. That night, that King of Wands is, you know, kind of staring me down. Um, yeah, I kind mm, mm, mm. I kind of feel like maybe you're wanting... Right. Like in other words, if you're the person who has the you're harboring the emotions or feelings, you know, you're the secret admirer, if you will. It's almost like you are seeking going to readings and, and tarot readings and getting all kinds of information to try to find out if your ex-husband, if you will, ex-wife, if you will, still loves you. Um, angels are also saying to you're hinting around certain conversations to foster and force a conversation about whether or not this person still has feelings for you who we i don't know who reading that is anyway let me see what um moonology has for you cap confidence is the key to success well that's that knight of swords energy is gaining momentum looks like this is gonna uh come out step out of your well looks like somebody's about to be out with it you're very close to achieving your goal. I feel like that goal is just knowing, right? Just knowing if they feel the same, if they don't feel the same, you know, you know, are they going to communicate? Maybe they will communicate. Maybe they won't. Right. I feel like you're about to get an answer soon. I'm not necessarily saying it's going to be good, bad, whatever, but I feel like an answer as far as how someone feels about you is on its way. 
anyway as you see <laughs> my cards are up i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here if the reading does resonate don't forget to like subscribe and comment love you cap bye